Hi, my name's Austin. This is my 4.0 process video. So when I was creating my 4.1 composite image, emulating a pro photographer, I wanted to create a piece by Joel Robison. He had this image where his hand was laying on the ground, or someone's hand was laying on the ground, in what seemed like a dimly lit alley. And a tree was growing out of it, and a small tiny cloud made of teddy bear stuffing was raining down water onto it. It was beautiful. So I already had my image. I didn't feel the need to create a drawing that looked exactly like that because that's what I'm going for. That is the ultimate goal. So I already have an image. I don't feel the need to draw anything except for like, okay, how am I gonna do this? Okay, well, I need a person to lay down on the ground. I need a tree. I need something sprinkling water down in just the right way, which I can fix that with a blur. And I did. And I need a cloud, whether it be made of teddy bear stuffing or it's a real cloud. So I did some research and I knew exactly what I needed. I had my girlfriend slash model lay on the ground on a towel and spread out her arm. And I took the shot roughly about the same height as her arm. Then I had her do the other arm because I didn't know whether or not I wanted to have her thumb in the foreground or the background of her arm, of her hand. I'm not exactly sure when I created my shot diary, but it wasn't exactly at the time that I was supposed to create it. But everything in the shot diary is accurate. I took the shots that I had claimed to take, and I did go to the various parks that I wanted. I went to two different parks. I went to one that had a hill so that it would raise my camera up to the right, to the right height of where a tree would be, the middle of a tree. And when I went on to that hill, I didn't know if there was a tree there that I could take a picture of because I had never been there before, but I saw the hill and I knew that would be helpful. I had a gut feeling that this would be helpful. So I went up there, I looked around and I found the tree. I found the perfect tree and I took the shot 10 times because you, you never know, like messing with the various controls of the camera in manual, you can come out with various options to use in your shot, even though you're going to edit them later. And then I went to the other park, which was called Elmwood Park. And they had a beautiful weeping willow tree. I couldn't pass that up. I took the shot of the weeping willow tree at several angles just to make sure that I had it right. I live 20 minutes outside of Philadelphia. So I couldn't help but want to go down to South Street and spend some time with my girlfriend. On the way there, we were walking, it was a beautiful day, plenty of clouds and, and clear skies. And then I saw it, the perfect cloud. I ran down a whole block just to get a clear shot of it. And I took the image and then I turned it into a black and white because apparently it didn't work out too well. Like it was the perfect cloud. I just didn't take it as well as I had wanted. And lastly, the image of the water, I took a black grill that had like a, a plate on the front so it was all black it's basically having a black background and i had my mother holding a hose with a uh, a spray attachment that had various settings holding it over the grill and she was spraying it down towards the ground with the camera about a foot off the ground i took various shots of high speed and low speed so I could get a slight blur effect, as well as getting the water droplets precisely. And I took two of the images and I put them together. I cut away the center part of the water because it was all focused there. But I got all the stuff that was spraying off to the sides. And I put it into the image. Once I had all my images and my photographs, I went to Photoshop, I uploaded them, I messed with the trees just a little bit to make them a little more green, give them a little more life. I posted them together. It took me about two hours to put together. Now, as you saw, I had some troubles with the cloud and with painting the roots because I didn't really want to use a, a root system that was already created. I wanted to create something that was similar to the image. My downfall was not looking at the original piece of art while creating mine. Had I done that, my roots might have been a little more subtle and actually look more like veins, but oh well. Everything has a time limit. We can't get it all perfect, but we can strive for perfection, even though we know that we will never attain it.